and this is part three of uh, the Rise of the Beast. Uh, continuing on, um, as I was mentioning there in the first one, how uh, the three <coughs> different animals, uh, the leopard, the feet of a bear, and the lion, representing England, and uh, the bear, uh, Russia and the lion, or the leopard, Germany, and that's <coughs> some characteristics of this end time beast system. <coughs> Praise God, because uh, it will be Hitler esque. It will be like Germany, and uh, this beast system will receive its power and seat and authority from Satan himself. So uh, it's going to be a very deadly sinister powerhouse. So that's what I'm seeing in this day and age is the rise of the United Nations since the 40s after World War II. Amen. And we see, you know, <coughs> candidates, politicians walking the earth today that are candidates as the Antichrist and no greater uh, person sticks out more than Obama and just kind of weird name you say Obama and Obama Nation you know uh, he rides around in a vehicle called the Beast I mean <laughs> you know and he came in as a Messiah and he's you know they worshipped him and you know he never reneged on it or say hey stop that you know so anyway, it's, it's got to happen and it's happening in our day and we just got to come to terms that this could be, I mean, how much longer will the Lord, you know, wait? I mean, all the Bible prophecies are fulfilled, you know, Jesus said, you know, in the sermon uh, on uh, <coughs> to his disciples of Matthew 24, uh, he was talking to them and they asked him, well, what shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and, and at the end of the age? You know, and he said, the first thing he was saying was like, you know, let no man deceive you. So he's talking about Deception, and I can relate that to Revelation chapter six and uh, verses one to eight, and talking about the um, you know the white horse, and you know Satan always tries to mock or copy or imitate God. That's one thing we've always learned through the Bible. Praise God, even back when Moses was you know had his rod and threw it down before Pharaoh, that turned into the snake, and the magicians did the same thing. Try to copy what you know God can do. Praise God! But the separate thing is that uh, <coughs> Moses' snake ate theirs. Praise God! So who's got the real power? The real power is in God. And Satan, you know, has always been envious of God, wanted to be like God. That's what got in his heart. You know, and he fell, and you know he's damned. You know he's going straight to hellfire. When it's all said and done, when God's plan is done, so He knows His time is short, as it's written in Revelation 12:12. 12, 12. You know, we know the times are short. You know, because look at our day and age today, and you know, uh, Jesus said it would be just like the days of Noah. Things do continue as usual, but uh, you know, there's coming a day, and the more you know, what fascinates me more today is uh, you know the more signs we see fulfilled, the, the less panicked people are and you know we try to witness people and say hey you know Jesus is coming and all his signs are showing and oh yeah whatever but you know people's minds have been conditioned and you know there's generations rising up that knows not Jesus praise God and Matthew 25 talks about you know five are wise and five are foolish we need the oil in our lamps burning hallelujah and we need to be witnessing and reaching out to souls in our day and age because uh, it's going to be a terrible day because the door is about to shut and a lot of people aren't ready and they're not listening and people are being dumbed down by you know all the things all these final aces that the enemy's thrown out you know like uh, I relate back to you know the birth of rock and roll and the birth of Hollywood and you know how when the, the Beatle mania came along how people just you know they were leaving churches and yeah rock and roll and you know, Satan was just, you know, he threw a net and caught many fish. And he's doing the same thing today, you know, through his devices. 
But Paul says, you know, we're not ignorant of his devices. Praise God. That's why we need to be full of the Spirit. Praise God. So, with that said, uh, <clears throat> so the dragon empowers him, the Antichrist and beast refer to one him. I believe the Antichrist seat is the United Nations. Praise God. Uh, because Revelations 2 verse 13, just hold on a second, my Bible here. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. <laughs> Revelation 2.13 says, you know what? <clears throat> like I said, this is a very complex issue. You know, it's I don't think no one ever has really the full answers, but you know, hey, we're just uh, it's it's Bible searching. You know, seeing some evidence and okay, how does this line up with Scripture? You know, praise God. So anyway, the Lord kind of showed me this, and uh, it says uh, two verse thirteen. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Hallelujah! And you go to thirteen verse two. It's kind of ironic, 2.13, 13, verse 2. I just, you know, was thinking about this one day, and this came to me, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, Lord, you know. <laughs> anyway, 13, verse 2, and the beast, which I saw, this Revelation 13, 2, was like a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Praise God. So where is all this great authority and you know, hell today, you know. Praise God. So I see the United Nations, that's where all the world decisions are being made and wars are being planned and, you know, this whole end time evil agenda is coming down the line. So, <clears throat> amen. So, amen. So he runs the, sh so he'll run the show. The Antichrist will run the show uh, for a bit until Jesus boots him out of office into the lake of fire revelation 19 verse 20. so basically i got a question here who is who, who's running the sh show today what political leader what country or empire who calls the shots well i, I see the united states the uh, united nations and the united kingdom look very suspicious amen I mean, we know the United States is a superpower of today, and but it's also imploding from within. You know, they're in very heavy debt. Something very evil and sinister has been going on for a long time, and you know, there's it's a very intricate plan of the New World Order and uh, the Speed System, which we're seeing in our day and age. So, this is something else where we should investigate as a New World Order. You know, who, who's behind that? You know, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, uh, those that call themselves the elites, or they, they, they're behind the scenes, but they're, they're the heads of the corporations and the mega banks, and uh, they own the money, they control the money, thus they control the world, they make decisions, they buy politicians, and thus, that's why we're seeing such a world dilemma as we are in. They're, I mean, they're like, they're like playing the world like a Monopoly game and a Battleship game. Amen. You know, they're instigating wars and they're saying who's going to go to war and who's going to be in power. That's the kind of system we have. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Praise God. So, it's all coming together here. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm on time right now, but I'll take a little break and get back to you uh, real soon. In Jesus' name.